Hey there, today we're going to look at how we can construct elements using the chemistry kits in Minecraft Education Edition. All right, let's get started on this one. So there are a couple of chemistry options that are available in Minecraft Education Edition. And oops, we're going to have a look at this idea of constructing elements. So to start, we have to get into our inventory. So I'm gonna press E on my keyboard and like I've already done there, I go to search for what is called this guy here, our element constructor. So I'm gonna pick him up and put him in my hotbar and then making sure I've got him selected by pressing one on my keyboard, I'm gonna right click and there it is there. Now, if I walk up to this and I right click on it again, it's going to open up this element constructor. And so if you're fairly confident with science, you're going to catch on to this pretty quickly, but I'm gonna go through like three examples for us. So we're going to construct carbon. So to do that, we need to do the protons, electrons, and neutrons that make up carbon. So what I can do is I can press here. And so carbon is made up of six of each. So I go six, six, and six, there we go. So there is my image that I have there of my carbon atom. And it's also created the element there for me on the right hand side, which I can then pick up and I can put here in my hot bar. Now let's make a different one. Let's say, let's go one that's, you know, got similar numbers. Um, I might just jump up, you know, cause I might be moving progressively through each one. So let's do oxygen. So oxygen will be eight, eight and eight. There we go. And I can pick up oxygen and pop that in my hot bar. And we'll do one more, we'll do titanium. Now you don't have to keep hitting the little plus and the minus symbols. If you know what each one is, I can come in here and make those changes. So carbon is 22, 22, and it's, it's, oh, click out of there. And there we go, I have my titanium element created and I can pop that there down into my hotbar. Okay, there is more that you can do with this. We'll have separate videos of how this follows on and how I can use those elements for each one, but that is our basic element constructor. Really great for developing those diagrams and getting kids in there exploring this idea. All right, I hope you find that super useful and you use it in your science classes. We will see you again soon. Cheers.